Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 5-40 from RC Valor Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, the platform assembly has a weight of 250 LB and center of gravity at G1. If it is intended to support a maximum load of 400 LB placed at point G2, determine the smallest counterweight W. That should be placed at D in order to prevent the platform from tipping over. So to solve this problem, first of all we have to mark all the forces. So we have one force which it is at G2. We have a force at G1. We have one normal reaction from the tires at point D, similarly at point C. And we have also a counterweight at point D. Let's label all of them. So this node right here is 400 LBs. This is 250 LBs. This is RD, normal reaction at point D. This is RC. And let's call this W, the counterweight. Now to solve this problem, we have to apply the equations of the equilibrium. So we have sum of the forces in y direction is equal to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have Rd plus Rc minus W minus 250 minus 400 is equal to 0. Similarly, Rd plus Rc minus W is equals to 650 LBs. Let's solve this equation A. Similarly, we have sum of the moments about point D is equals to 0. I am considering counterclockwise moment as positive. Now, here is a trick. The force RC is equal to 0. Why? Because it is mentioned in the problem that we have to determine the smallest counterweight that is just preventing the platform to, from tipping over. Because if you write it right here, platform is just prevented from tipping over by the counterweight. Which means that contact at C is about to break. That's why we have considered that the normal reaction at RC, normal reaction at point C is zero because the platform is just about to turn over or about to tip over. Similarly, you have to remember three conditions for the normal reaction forces. If the magnitude of the normal reaction is greater than zero, it means that there is a contact between object and the surface. Number two. If the magnitude of the normal reaction is equal to zero, 
it means that contact between object and surface is about to break. Similarly, if we have third condition which says that R is less than zero, it means that there is no contact between object and the surface. So you have to remember these three conditions for the normal reaction forces. Now, if we consider our moment equation, then we have since RC is zero, so it would not produce any moment about point D. So here we have the counterweight W and the moment arm by this counterweight is this 6 and this 1 fit, so it is 7 and 250 LV weight is trying to rotate in counterclockwise direction, so it would be taken as positive 250 and the moment arm by this force is this 1 fit. I zoom in. This is one fit right here, and the moment produced by this 400 LV force about point D is clockwise, so it will be taken as negative, and the moment arm is two fit. This distance is equals to zero. So from here, W is equals to 78.6 LV. This is our required answer. Now, if you wish to, you could also find the value of the normal reaction at point D by using this equation. So, Rd is equals to 650 plus W, and Rd is equals to 650 plus 78.6. So, Rd becomes 728. 0.6 LVs. Well, this is not of a required answer. In the problem, we were asked to find the counterweight. So, it depends upon you. If you want to find the reaction at R, the reaction at point D, then you can use this equation, equation A. Now, this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any question or any query about this problem then you can ask it, ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.